you're a filmmaker on a small budget, then Adobe After Effects is probably out of the question, and likely, so is Sony Vegas Pro. If you're like me when I started, uh, you didn't have a very large budget, and so you were stuck with Sony Vegas Movie Studio, um, such as Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum. And one of my biggest frustrations with this is the fact that you cannot mask in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. It drove me nuts. So today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Yes, in Vegas Movie Studio. Now, that's a bit of a catch because you were going to use a free program called GIMP to do the actual masking, but I'm going to show you how to get that cool effect that you see in Adobe After Effects tutorials where they have the light from gunshots reflecting off the walls and that type of thing. So let's get right into it. Let's play through the footage once to see what we've got here. So what we first need to do is add the muzzle flash, and that's what we're going to do in Vegas. So let's drag our footage down to the overlay, and I'll just find one that I like. Um, let's find the place where the gun actually fires. Zoom in on our timeline a little bit. So the gun actually starts to fire about right there. I'll put the muzzle flash. Let's say where the gun starts to move. All right. Let's drag this over. Just cut this down and make it match the end of the video. Let's go ahead and key this out using our chroma keyer. How you like to use pure green screen doesn't really matter. Just use the little tool over here and get black. I found that the threshold for this um, seems to be good at about 0 0.303. Takes care of any little fuzzy areas. There you go. All right, so now let's use the uh, event pan and crop and go over here and. Um, work on making this match the end of the gun. Alright, now let's get on with the masking part. So go to the place where your muzzle flash begins. Set this to best, full, and then um, save snap, snapshot to file. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Um, we'll just call this do gun.jpg. Um, so we have that image. Now what you want to do is head over to GIMP and open it in GIMP. So we'll go to desktop, gun.jpg, open it. So see, we have the muzzle flash, but there's no light being reflected on the tree. And as you know, with a gun, it, sh it sh throws out a lot of light. So there would be light reflecting off the tree. So let's get right to this. First, duplicate your layer, then um, take this layer, add a layer mask, and apply the layer mask. Then, uh, just turn this off so you can see the bottom layer. Make sure you have the bottom layer selected, go over to Colors, Hue Saturation, and turn up the lightness. And I don't, there's not a specific amount, it's just whatever looks good for your clip. Uh, for me, it's not very much. This shot was a little bit dark and grainy. I'll go with about 11. And then change the hue to be a little bit yellower. Um, this looks good for me, so I'm going to say OK. See, now here's the normal version. Here's the lightened version. Now what you want to do is make sure that your top layer is selected. Click on your free select tool. Click feather edges. Just leave that at 10 and cut out the parts that you want to be lightened. And I'm not going to cut out all of them for the sake of time, but I'll just cut out a few to show you what I'm doing. So light would be hitting this branch here. Now I have a selection of that. You can press Control X or Delete, doesn't matter. You see that's a little bit lighter. If we were to turn this one off, you see that's a transparent part. Um, so now, we'll select, I'll do one other place. Um, probably should do the hand. This is really 
rough, but it gets the job done. See, that's just a little bit lighter. So now what you want to do is go over here and click overwrite gun.jpg. I just leave this alone. Click export, and Vegas will automatically refresh this so it is the version with the masking. Then what you want to do is insert another track, drag this down, and then go in one frame. Make sure you have that one selected. Click split, S for split. Now, see light reflects off the tree. You see that? So this is just basic how to mask using Sony Vegas Movie Studio. And uh, it's really great because Vegas Movie Studio isn't all that expensive. And you have a quick and easy way to do this without spending $500 on movie software. GIMP, of course, is free. I'll just add a sound effect real quick to this. Now let's go back and see what this looks like. Pretty realistic. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, tell us what you thought.